Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to add buy now button on Shopify product page. The first thing you want to do once on your Shopify admin page, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to tap on settings. By the way, I'm assuming that you already have added products to your Shopify store. So once you have added the products, you are going to tap on settings in the bottom left hand corner. After tapping on settings, from here you are going to scroll down until you see apps and sales channels. You are going to tap on that. Once you have selected apps and sales channels, you are going to see installed apps and I want you to scroll all the way down until you see buy button right here. You are going to tap on that. After tapping on buy button, what you'll need to do next is simply go over to the top right hand corner and you are going to tap on open sales channel. After tapping on open sales channel, you'll be led to this page and you are going to tap on create a buy button. Then from here, you'll have a few options. You can see product buy button and you can also select collection buy button. But since this tutorial is about showing you how to add a buy button to a product, I'll tap on product buy button. Then from here, you can scroll down and you can select the particular product. So you can select any one of these products. For example, this product right here. By the way, even if it is saying unavailable, you can select it. As you can see right here, tap on select. Then once you have selected it, you can tap on mark as available. After tapping on mark as available, after tapping on mark as available, you can see how it looks right here. You can see an example of how the buy now button will look and how the product page will look. And also if you would like to preview it on mobile, you could select the mobile icon from the top of the page and from there you can see how it looks. And you can go over to the left hand menu option and from here you'll see product variants. So if you would like all variants to be available, you can leave it at all variants. Or if you would only like for a few variants to be available, you could select the variant that you would like to be available. And also you can change the layout style. At the moment it is in classic. If you would like to put it in basic, you can see how basic looks. Or if you would like full view, this is the full view option. You can see how it looks right here. So it all depends to your liking how you would like it to look. As you can see, this is how the full view looks. But at the moment I'll stick, stick to the classic one as you can see right here. And also you can see action when people click button. From here you can see add product to cart, direct to checkout or open product details. You can select any one of these options. And also you can tap on the button style to edit the background color or the button text. So let's say for example I want to change the button color. As you can see at the moment it is yellow. All you'll have to do is tap right where you see background color. Then from there let's say I would like it to be red. I could tap on red right there and also if you would like to change the button text color you can do that also by tapping right where you see button text then from there you can select the color that you would like it to be as you can see right here all you have to do is tap on the particular color once you're finished doing that you can scroll down and also you can change the font style so if you would like to use another font style, you can select another font style. For example, this font style right here. And after you're finished, you can also change the size of the font by simply pulling along the slider to the right. If you'd like to increase the font size or if you'd like to decrease the font size, you'll put it to the left. Then you can also tap on layout. And from layout, you can change the image size. So if you would like the image to be medium, or if you would like it to be large, you can select the particular image size. For this example, I'll select medium. And you can also select if you would like to show additional product images. So if you would want to do that, you can tap on it. 
and you can see the additional product images right here and you can also change the alignment so you can move around the picture if you want but I leave it in the center and you can also change the button text so at the moment it says add to cart so if you would like to change the button to for example buy now you could simply select it and type in buy now as you can see right here let me do that real quick and you can also show quantity field if you want so you can show the amount that the person is ordering as you can see right there and you can change the product title if you want you can change the color so you can select the color that you would like the product title to be in and you can also change the price color right here so let's say you want the price to be yellow you could select the yellow right there and you can see that the color has changed and also you can change the variant color if you want and you can change the font style for the product title if you want also so I could choose a different font style you can increase the size you can also change the font style for the price and you can also change the size of the price so let's say I want to increase the price size I can do that also so there are numerous options on how to customize the layout once you have done all of that if you would like to tap on advanced settings you can do that you can select whether you would like it to open in a pop-up window or you would like to redirect it in the same tab and after you're finished all you have to do now is tap on next in the top right hand corner after you have tapped on next you can see right here click copy code then paste it into the html editor of the web page where you want it to be displayed after you have done all of that all you have to do now is tap on copy code after you have copied the code you are going to tap on exit then after selecting exit all you'll have to do now let's say for example you want to create a new page all you'll have to do is tap on online store after you have tapped on online store from here you could tap on pages after selecting pages you could tap on add page in the top right hand corner and after tapping on add page you could add the product title right here so let's say just for example sake I'll name this page test then in the block right here the content block all you'll have to do now is simply tap right here that says show HTML then after doing that you're going to paste the link then after doing that you'll tap on show editor and after tapping on show editor you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner once it has been saved you can tap on view page and now you will be able to see the product as you can see right here this is it and you can see the buy now button right there and also if you would like to know how I made the transparent header as you can see right here it is one of my recent videos so you can definitely give my channel a check out and you'll see numerous other videos that you'll like hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe